Good day, Desade. How can I help you? We're looking for a young Nort named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. Excellency. Captain Bascom, what fair wind brings you here? We're looking for a young Nort who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father. He wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving, and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she'd better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. You say she was fleeing her father? Yes, that's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Teleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz, if he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern, so maybe that's where you'll find him. I must leave you. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. I'm fine. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desardé. 
I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I have a few questions for you. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba, what a stupid name. Her real name is Clara, and yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some Inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. I'll leave you, sir. A missionary camp near a village whose name begins with Wench. Could it be Wenchabi, the village of Katasak? We know there were missionaries in the area. That's it. Let's go. Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. Let me... Let me go. I've done nothing wrong. Speak if you want me to release you. Where is she? I... I don't know. I'm thirsty. Give me water. You will have nothing until you tell me something. Mercy, I'm dying. I don't care. If you die, I will just question another one like you. Talk! Where is the girl? This is surely the sleuth. And luckily, he's not found Alba yet. He's quick. Hey, who goes there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. And I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. Your brutality must stop. I order you to release this man and leave immediately. I don't care about your orders. And since you want to interfere in my hunt, you will regret it. Bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! To my health! And death to the others! Let's free this poor man. 
me the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wen Chavaye later on. are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Oh, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down, and they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. Or he led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye.
Sentinel on my blade. And let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fate! Here is the cave that our protege told us about. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. Look, a camp. Maybe these are Albert's things. No, you will not get me. I will not go back to the convent. Move away. Stop. You have won. Finish me. I still prefer to die than to return to my father. Wait. Something's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. We do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then, why are you here? We know you betrayed the Noughts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder. And we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Noughts are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors, and I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. Reuben used the mistrust of the volunteers to accuse her, and he used us to make her run away. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. <sighs> We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony.
Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alma and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? The investigation is progressing, Admiral. Hurry up. Anything else? I need to be going. Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's gonna sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof, doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen, one of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. When pride and debt are your masters, it can push you to desperate measures. You afraid he might do something stupid? Perhaps. But keep that to yourself, if you would. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Good day. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... Uh, troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Your Excellency. I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a knot. 
He spoke of trees and that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. It's because I'm the sweetest. <laughs> Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan. But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh. I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned in bitter. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. This man is a complete traitor. Bitter, dissatisfied, and anxious. We should follow him tonight. He may finally lead us to some solid proof. We can see everything from here.
We can see everything from here. Selection, whatever you need. Here he is, red-handed, the sellout. Shall we arrest him? Yes, let's go. Leave it there for now. Leave it there for now. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere.
Master Sarde, what can I do for you? Captain Reuben will no longer harm the Nords, and we have retrieved his journal and other documents. But alas, we could not identify his buyer. A shame. But what matters is we have the documents, and Reuben cannot betray us anymore. As for you, Alba, I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The Captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the Volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, Desarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? Admiral, did you think any more about my Alliance proposal? Indeed. You have given me reasons to reconsider. And you earn the trust of my men. They will be by your side when it's time to fight this battle. Thank you, Admiral. When you see Vad, give him my thanks. If it weren't for him, one of my friends would probably... That is the... I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Darren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick, and to cure him, Katasak used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and the Voshtire should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Enon Miel Frichterman warned me that Constantin was now targeting the Sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I already convinced some other factions to support us. But I also need the help of your people. Because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enon Miel Frichterman cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps, and may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. 
that's true. He took it with a relaxed acceptance. It's probably an old sage thing. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tierfredi couldn't have a better High King. Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. And Kurt, I believe I should be thanking you for my nomination. It is your upright and honorable nature that won you this post. Not I. Perhaps sometime in the future you'll curse me for having suggested your name. I hope not. How can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the islanders, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures, in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, we're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I asked my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? I have to go. Goodbye. I also have a lot to do. Until next time, Your Excellency.
Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. You expect us to participate in a combined attack to protect an insular sanctuary. I hope you realize that for me to accept, I would have to be insane. Or have full trust in you. Are you implying that you may change your mind? If you accept to deal with the problem I entrusted you with, then you would at least have a chance. And what if I simply reminded you that you owe me a debt? You surprised me, Desade. I wouldn't have thought you were so guileful. But you were taught well. Ah, since you leave me no choice, fine. My men will fight by your side. But I hope that my debt will then be repaid once and for all. Of course, Your Eminence. Thank you. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe this honor? I have come to solicit your help and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? 
Against who? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hakmed, but also San Mateus, and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Uh, surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then, there was a ritual and his capture. And Constantine has fallen into madness. He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island, to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone, and it now appears he wants to take control of Tirfredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Disarde. Which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Precisely. I have already gathered support, but I need as many allies as possible. I understand what you are saying. And a part of me wishes truly to lend you a hand, if only to exact vengeance for the losses we suffered. But I am not sure I can trust you with the lives of my few remaining men. How can I possibly convince you? Perhaps if you were to complete the tasks that I entrusted you with. Very well. I shall see what I can do. Do so, and we shall speak about this again. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. <laughs>